Oh, hello, Taurus, and welcome. My name is Ingrid, and I will be doing your tarot reading tonight. But we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a dream incubation uh, for this tarot reading. And a dream incubation is a technique uh, that aims to influence your dreams before and as you fall asleep. So we will take this tarot reading, and as you fall asleep, to uh, remember, recall, or actually watch this video. And the goal of having a specific dream topic occur, and you're using this a tarot reading to stimulate the dream topic. And it often seen, is seen as a ritual that can help guide your dreams. And some say it can help you access hidden wisdom and receive instruction uh, from uh, this dream incubation that's coming from this reading. And let's dive right in. And we will be doing um, a reading with uh, the Angel Oracle, the Ancestor Oracle, and at the very end, after the tarot reading, a one a message from the fairies. And so it is. And let's uh, dive right in and see uh, what it is that Taurus you need to know to incubate in your dream tonight. And uh, so it is. And this is for you. Joy and contentment. Well, joy and contentment is coming, and you will feel that vibrational energy uh, in your solar plexus, and you will be in the dream uh, watching for uh, this feeling, this general energy of just feeling uh, joyous. Whatever that image, a child uh, playing uh, with a balloon. Um, you could be uh, feeling the sense of your confidence just walking out in nature. But this is saying that joy and contentment are coming uh, as you in incubate this theme within your reading uh, today and also within the dream work tonight. And look at that beautiful energy, feeling that youthful joy, contentment, uh, receiving that feeling in the dream so when you wake up, you can take that energy forward. And the ancestors, you could be connecting to someone uh, from your past who has passed on uh, to the other realm and uh, receiving a message or speaking with them in your dream tonight. Um, but the ancestors are as close as our DNA. And this is for you, Taurus. A guardian angel. Well, you have a guardian angel and you could be seeing a feather and that could remind you that you're not alone. In the dream, uh, you could be seeing a white feather. So be on alert, and that can be a guide that you're lucidly dreaming. You are not alone. Joy and contentment comes from knowing you are not alone. You're not alone, and in the dream, you're going to receive that message in some way. And that is what I have. And thank you, spirit guides, for overseeing uh, this act of divination. Uh, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And thank you so much for uh, bringing us precise and clear images for Taurus to um, incubate into the dream world tonight. And this is you, Taurus. The Page of Wands. Wow. A lot of fiery energy. This could be Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo. You're um, dressed in a dapper way. You're ready to get going with life, out with the old and in with the new. There's some bold adventure. Uh, you could be seeing dream images of a, a character like this. This can be a young energy, someone younger than you. But it's going to stimulate a new kind of a passion. And it's going to bring this energy into your life. And it's going to bring a lot of joy and contentment. So look for this image in your dream, this character, who is this coming to you? But it's going to um, want you to say, I'm ready to move on. Uh, maybe you will be traveling or moving, changing locations. And it's going to come because of the Seven of Pentacles. Well, you're reevaluating uh, the situation. You've been working perhaps for seven uh, months on a situation or even seven years. And in the dream, you're going to feel that <clears throat> energy of the time frame. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo <clears throat> energy that is challenging you to move on. 
Uh, maybe you have a sense of, you see how far you have come, how much you have worked on. Uh, you, and that brought you joy and contentment. Look for that joy and contentment in what you do have and how much you have grown and the career opportunities that are coming. And that they're coming because you're not alone. This energy suggests that you're getting ready uh, to s go forward uh, on a new adventure and to appraise uh, what your work is and to see you have done well and you're ready to go forward. Uh, look for that kind of energy because at the foundation, you know you have this ability to stand above the rest, to work in collaboration with others. In the dream, you could be seeing yourself in a work setting or in a setting where you're actually building uh, something, uh, a house, a building itself, uh, working on building furniture, but you're actually working the earth, working with your hands, and that's going to bring you a lot of uh, energy and new ideas, and you want to move forward with that. Um, so you don't have to always be over... Um, you know, evaluating or over appraising uh, what you've been doing. Uh, it's time to say, uh, take that fiery passion, even if you don't know where it's going, and trust you have a guardian angel and you're not alone because you've made some plans in the recent past. And these plans, you're taking them out there. Uh, you are ready. You're ready to see what the world offers. And you've got both the physical ability, uh, financial, uh, the structure. Uh, you've got the work history, the uh, resume. Um, but you're planning to take it out because you know you can uh, move forward. You're ready. <clears throat> and see in the dream any energy about planning and to be pay attention in the dream to what it is uh, you're working on, what's, what you're planning. Uh, what you see that's bringing you joy and contentment because you've got the three of cups which is joy and contentment with others celebrating with friends a uh, close family having something to celebrate a uh, sharing the news the harvest the bounty of what you have worked on and seeing it wow it's worth up uh, my passion it's worth uh, going on with this what, see what brings up passion for you. And also camaraderie. You've got two um, <clears throat> threes. And then uh, you've got the four of cups is how you're feeling things right now, but you will see the sun is at the very root of your true nature. That's joy and contentment. So right now you're having to evaluate whatever you feel that has made you happy. What kind of friendships do you want? You're looking for this in your dream. You're working for qualities, not specifics. These, you want happiness. You want celebration. You want joy and contentment. You want to find images like the feather um, that show you you're not alone. And you're never alone. And you've got a lot of structure and wealth um, that you're growing and a plan, a sacred plan, uh, to work with others and to be happy, to find that celebration. And that will bring you uh, this relationship. And there is a relationship coming in the dream, uh, a joining together of two opposing uh, forces. But when they come together, it makes the light of the sun just beam um, brightly happy, joining, marriage, healing, coming out of a dark time because uh, the influence of the environment is the devil. This could be Capricorn energy. Uh, we've got the sun, which is a uh, Leo, and now we have, uh, we're entering into Leo season now on the 21st with the full moon in Capricorn. So you could be feeling something very bright uh, in your dream that is shining, illuminating uh, this uh, feeling of bondage, this feeling of being held back, this feeling of entrapment, this feeling of an, an addiction uh, that is influencing you. Maybe someone is making you frightened. Maybe you feel entrapped or in bondage to um, a low vibrating energy because you're afraid to get away from it. 
but that is just saying in the dream a light is going to be shown on this devil the devil can come in many forms so in the dream you will be uh, sh showing um, some image of uh, <clears throat> a contrast a clarity something that will be both bright and happy and shining but also uh, that will challenge from the environment something that's toxic that's uh, uh, in bondage to a low vibrating energy such as fear addiction just materialism itself and so you have um this character of the a page of wands and then the devil and these two characters uh under the sun so you could be uh seeing um uh, that be aware of who shows up in your dream and what they are representing for you because your hope and fear is the star this is an aquarius so you've got uh leo capricorn and aquarius very pronounced in your reading there is uh you've got the sun and the star so a taurus that's fame fortune in your dream you could be meeting with a celebrity or somebody who's very uh, well known uh, i mean internationally well known uh, but it's that influence could be toxic but it also could be um you know the devil is not only it represents the material form so it could be in some way uh coming into your own with joy and contentment in the world because of an influence from uh, someone else who is very a capricorn type energy a businessman who's very wealthy but you're gonna sh um your hope and fear is that you can uh, connect to this aquarius energy of of inspiration of using your gifts and talents of always knowing that out of the tower out of destruction out of um when we feel that our life has come to rock bottom that you can shine and heal and um, be the water bearer and to blend those energies and to uh, have faith that's your hope and uh, fear to have faith and hope and what's coming is the um, five of cups well the five of cups is uh, a card of a regret sorrow sadness um, holding on to grief but it's saying you're moving um, away uh, from this sadness because you've got the star and sh the star is coming to heal this unhappiness because you're going to uh, take the cups that are still standing in your life and to bring joy and contentment to those um, and to see that uh, there is this uh, faith and hope because you've got a guardian angel and so look for that sign of the guardian angel and the star as you come into this dream that you will be incubating tonight taurus and uh, so it is and you know i love you and thank you so much all of you my tauruses uh, for continuing to support me and to my new viewers well uh, thank you and uh, sweet dreams and see you in dreamland bye bye